Hello everybody and welcome back. Yes, I am back today with another video to talk about the loan increases for the EIDL. Did you get your email? Yes, no. Yes, the emails are going out and it is first come, first serve. So if you did not get your email, you could follow the simple steps I'm about to walk you through and get ahead of the line, okay? And I have some follow-up to many of the comments that came through yesterday on my Instagram and right here on the channel. So thank you everybody for sharing your information. We're going to get you all caught up on EIDL loans. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, I am Edward Builder. To all my loyal subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you're joining me for the first time today, welcome. Consider becoming a subscriber. I'm getting a lot of new viewers, and so I just want to remind everybody, I typically post finance videos, finance videos on filling your pockets. So if you are a uh, nine to fiver in the rat race, or you're out there working a service industry like driving a car, and you typically have to work in order to earn your money, I teach you on methods on how to sleep and earn your money. <laughs> That's right. Through wealth building strategies like investing in the stock market, royalties, and real estate, short-term rentals. And I, when I say real estate, I'm talking about getting into the game with $50 in your pocket and earning five to ten thousand dollars each month yeah that's right so check out my crash course in the description on bnbs it's a crash course on bnbs and my crash course on wealth building strategies okay let's get into your details i want to point out a big congratulations out there to everybody who's receiving their targeted advanced grants being accepted so congratulations everybody if you're finally receiving the balance of that ten thousand dollars and be sure to check out my videos at the end of this video because many of you are being denied and there are things you can do to avoid it and fire back so that you don't get denied. Some mistakes that you could avoid, so check out those videos. This video will mainly focus on the EIDL loan increases and answer to many of the comments that were raised. So, I'm not sure why some channels are announcing that this has been delayed and I'm not sure why the, the uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why the SBA agents are also telling people on the phone that the program will not be available until the 8th because that is not exactly true. Many of my viewers right now are commenting and sending me messages that they've received their email, that they've also gone through my email hack and they've been put in the queue for the increase. So I'm gonna get into the details here of what you can do if you wanna advance yourself in line so you don't have to wait as long as everybody else. You're gonna get an email. If you have not gotten the email, don't worry, but you would get an email uh, and it's titled uh, COVID EIDL Increase Requests, and it's coming from COVID EIDL Increase Requests with an S at the end, okay? At sba.gov. I know, pretty original, right? <laughs> Before you go nuts uh, searching for this email, check your spam. Sometimes it just goes to spam if it's coming from a brand new email. But if you have not gotten it, don't worry about it. I got a trick to get you in line. So let's get into the news. I'm gonna dive straight into the email that you're about to receive. Um, and now there is an email hack, and because it's first come, first serve, you don't necessarily have to wait for your email to show up. You can go to the description right now and run the email hack, but wait until I finish all of this video uh, because there is some more details and some things that may happen, and you're gonna wanna follow all the steps, all right? So stick with me here. It's just gonna be a, a few minutes, and then go grab it in the description and run the email hack. Now, the email is obviously, the email address is obviously COVID EIDL increase requests with an S at the end, at sba.gov. Now in the subject line, they're asking you to put your 10 digit application number after you say COVID EIDL increase request, then my 10 digit number. And then inside the body of the message, they're asking you for your loan number, your SBA loan number, which is different from your application number. You can find that on your, uh, you can find that on your application that you submitted back in your closing documents or in old emails. Uh, they're asking for the business name, your name, business address, business phone number, right? And that 10 digit loan number will be found in an email previous to this one. So just dig back in your emails and dig through it until you find a 10 digit and then look on your closing documents for the application number in the top corner. And get that into the body of message and hit send. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen next. Okay, let's get into an update on if you uh, pressed send on your email and you've gotten a rejection. A rejection so try manually typing the email in and sometimes it comes up with a plus sign that plus sign is not your friend in this case and your email may not go through it really depends on what device you're using so try manually temp typing it in and remember there's an s at the end of requests all right now once you send the email 
you may or may not get the same response. I know, I know. It's because they didn't necessarily test every device out there uh, before they launched this program. But uh, some of the responses you get is an instant reply that says it's been received and you're in line. Others are receiving text message replies. I know, crazy, right? Uh, some are getting the email, some are getting nothing. <laughs> so don't be, don't be nervous if you get nothing. I'm gonna talk about that here in just a minute. Or some of you may receive this response right here. It says, we will process increased requests in the order they are received. Due to the expected high volume of income, incoming requests, it may be several weeks before you receive a response from the SBA on the next steps to follow. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised about that one. So, But notice it says there, in the order they are received. That means this is first come, first serve. So do not wait for your email. You go ahead and you send the email, all right? <laughs> so once you do this, once you sent your email and whether you got a response or you did not get a response, um, don't be nervous. Check your portal in two, or two to three days and see if there's any update inside your portal. In some cases, viewers are showing that, boom, their, their increase just showed up automatically. So if they had $4,000, they 4 x it, right? And it showed up automatically. And so that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get these funds. You may still need to submit additional information to get these funds. So don't just think, oh great, I got all this extra money. Now, if you did not get any response and nothing's happening, still wait like two to three days but I would not necessarily recommend to just go and send a new email yet because it will reset you in line, right? So every time you send that new email, it takes you out of line and it puts you back <laughs> back at the end of the line. So don't necessarily just go and resend the email. I know it's tough to like, you know, you wanna keep clicking it. Did it go through, did it go through, uh, did it go through? Every time you do that, if it sends a new email, it just moves you back and back and back. So try and uh, fight that urge. Now I've gotten this question a few times and I'm gonna answer it here with an example. And the question is, should I take the loan? Big question marks, right? Big question marks. Now I can't necessarily answer whether or not you should take the loan because I don't necessarily know your financial situation. Ask yourself two basic questions, okay? And they are, can you make it through the pandemic without the additional funding, yes or no? And can you make the payments once your payments become due? Because, remember, this is a 30-year loan and you have to pay this back. It comes at a 3.75 interest rate. It's not free money. I know channels talk about making this free money, but right now, this is not free money. So you're signing up for something that is not free money, okay? So it does have to be paid back. So let me walk you through an example of what a monthly payment should look like uh, so you can kind of get ahead of the game here and make this decision as to whether or not you want to take the loan. The loan increase all right so this is going to be at a 3.75 interest rate at 28 years and this is just an approximation okay so this value may be a little bit different once you you know if you pay back a little sooner or whatnot but an approximation at ten thousand dollars the new loan increase value ten thousand dollars you should be expected to pay about forty eight dollars each month that forty eight dollars is pretty important because for every ten thousand dollars you're gonna to have to multiply it by $48. So an example, if you had $25,000, it would be $120. That's 48 times 2.5 gives you 120. $75,000 would give you a $360 monthly payment. That is 48 times 7.5, right? Does that make sense? Now, if you had a, if you had a $77,000 loan increase, that is 7.7 times 48, giving you 396.60, and these are all approximations. 150K would be $721,000. 250K would be 1,202, that's 25 times 48. 500,000 would be $2,405, that's 50 times 48, 2,405 for monthly payment. I hope this helps make you guys your uh, determination. So if you like all the research I'm doing here on the channel, now's the time to smash the old like button. <laughs> Every time you touch the like button, YouTube recommends my videos to more and more people. It really helps me out here on the channel. It just gets that algorithm moving, right? And so uh, you can also share me on your Facebook and Twitter, spread the message that way. Um, I'm going to summarize some things that are inside that email around the collateral portion of this because you need to remember that if you get over $25,000, you're going to start having to have a collateral UCC agreement. And so I've got a lot of questions that came back yesterday um, as to what to do if you don't have anything that you can collateralize. 
and I'm actually waiting on a message back from my SBA contact for more information on that. I don't want to give you the wrong info here, so give me another day here or so for them to reply. They're rather, actually rather pretty quick. But once you hit that 25K, you will be required like a UCC agreement to secure some form of collateral. All right, so it is spelled out in the email. Anything over 200 will require a, a unsecured personal uh, guarantee. And then if you reach the 500K threshold, it notes that uh, real estate will not be used as collateral. So that's kind of a good thing. They're not going to come after you to take your properties off of you. But it was clearly pointed out in there, so I want to make sure everybody remembers that. And some examples, the max here, if you receive the first loan, the very first loan, if you're anywhere between $6,250 down to nothing, right? When you 4X that, when you multiply that by four, it will come up to $25,000. So you do not have to worry about the collateral. But the minute you go over to $6,251, $51, when you 2X that, it would come out to 25,004, right? 25,004. <laughs> so that's the moment you're going to need to, to collateralize. I know that four extra dollars will make you have to collateralize. So anybody out there looking for a loan of $7,000 times 4X will be collateralized. And it goes all the way up to 500K. So remember, if you got a $125,000 loan, 4X, 500K, 126, you're gonna be capped at 500K, so it will reduce it back down to 500K. So keep that in mind. Remember, leaving a comment enrolls you into my next giveaway because when I hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm giving away 500 bucks. To be eligible, all you have to do is leave a comment and be a subscriber in any of my videos. I'm gonna pick a random one at 20,000. Can't wait to do it again. I've done this a few times down on the channel. This video has been sponsored by me this time. Swing by the description and check out my new crash courses in B&Bs and my crash courses in building wealth strategies. And remember, I'm always looking for new partners to join me in my B&Bs and my short-term rentals. Take some of this stimulus money and get out there and change your future. I invest in platforms like Webull, Robinhood, M1 Finance, and BlockFi. They are all found in the description. They are all giving away free stuff. Webull is pretty great. I had an actually pretty cool morning this morning. Check this out. All right. All I did, and I watch another, another 10, another, yeah, right? 120-ish dollars worth of free stocks that I earned just this morning. How did I do that? I just recommended this by clicking two buttons recommending it to my friends on Facebook and two of them signed up and I got 12 free stocks this morning. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> so if I don't like those stocks, I just trade them in and get whatever I want or I cash them in and I go invest in real estate. <laughs> if you need further assistance outside of this, you can schedule me in the top comment. I'll be pinned in the top comment for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. That's going to do it for today, folks. I thank you all again and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.